Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Richarlison SBC to review today. Guys, uh, EA have been doing a better job with the physical oriented strikers in this game. So the card could be pretty decent, man. Uh, we're taking a look at someone who is 5'11", high medium work rates, right footed, four star skills, five star weak foot. To be honest, already starting off really nicely. Um, player traits, he has the power header trait, flare trait. So power header trait with what jumping and heading accuracy? Not bad, actually. 91 jumping, 91 heading accuracy. Okay. Okay. So with Rechoice and in-game, guys, just like most of the players, we're going to give him the engine chemistry style to boost his acceleration and sprint speed to be at a 99.95 for the meta of the game. Base card stats for shooting is on the lower side as of right now, but with the upgrade could be a little bit higher. Um, you could, you know, you could give this card like a finisher if you don't care too much about the pace. But the thing is, guys, is that once you're inside the 18 yard box and you go for a higher percentage strike and you're green timing your strikes, I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. You know, uh, he's going to have 93 attacking positioning to work with that high medium work rate, which should be pretty decent, to be fair. 93 shot power is great to have. Long shots not existent on this or non-existent on this card. Um, so it's going to be mostly strikes from inside the 18. Although for the review, we try them outside the 18 to see what's up. Uh, base card stats are passing. Pretty low for long passing. Everything else is in a pretty decent area on the engine chemistry style. We will be improving that, so no big deal there. Dribbling, we do have to give him the engine, guys. This bounces at an 84 with 88 agility. You know, the card is 5'11 with a lean body type. So let's try to make him as responsive as possible, right? Um, what else we got here? Uh, he has 90 reactions, 91 ball control, 89 for composure. So, yeah, the main thing that I'm seeing here is that he needs improvements in the shooting department, you know, shooting department as well as the dribbling department. If he gets that upgrade would be very, very nice for this card. 88 for stamina. So a card I would probably mainly use in the middle, but you can use in the side positions if you really want to. Um, and then he has 82 for strength, 89 for aggression. So uh, we're also going to be trying out the Waghurst card. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that name right, and I really apologize if I'm not. But uh, again, an engine chemistry style. Uh, but guys, with Richarlison, we are going to be using him up top in the striker position. We will switch a couple of these things here and there. Jack Grealish. Yeah, so yeah, we'll use him as one of the strikers up top on the instruction of getting behind stay forward as usual, and uh, we'll see how he plays, man. Hopefully he's a beast. Okay, <laughs> I mean, I mean, we'll take that cross. We'll take that cross. We'll take it every day. Mm, dribbling was a little bit weird there, but I was trying to go backwards. Those ones are going to be really random sometimes. Oh, there's a first time strike too on the five star weak foot. No. Oh, Varan. Varan, leave everyone alone, please. Yeah, we'll take that. Well done, Richardson. Well positioned for the first time strike there. I'll we'll take it. We'll take it. Okay, Richardson, we'll just take that right away. Good finish on that five-star week, but my G. Oh, man. He gave me the ball, and I was just like, okay, okay, I'll try to green uh, green time shot here. Hmm. Imagine he actually got the first touch in the air like that. That would have been kind of nuts. Eh, not bad, Richardson. We're going to try that. Yeah, we'll get the deflection. Why not? We'll get the deflection. Thank you very much, sir. Mm, okay. Okay. Far from the goalkeeper there. He just randomly follows uh, Richardson. Okay. Why is Diaz taking this? 59 penalties? Like, what? What's that about? We get the chip.
Let's go. Great finish. I was really concerned about whether or not he was going to go for the header or for the volley. That's why I was aiming like it's a volley, but you guys know it's manual heading. So I was like, oh, please, if I actually aim it here, it's going to just just going to put it to the side. OK, cool. I'll just hit it in the red and score. Sure. <laughs> Oh, I thought I messed that up. I thought I messed that up. But that was a great finish, though. Great, great finish. Ah, yeah, way too far. Way too far. But you know I'm going to try it, though. You know I'm going to try it. Oh, way too close. The animation was, like, slow to take the strike, too. But I'm definitely, like, way too close there. Every choice it just knocked him. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. That angle is usually just not. It just doesn't come off. I'm telling you guys, man. Sometimes it doesn't come off. Okay, we got the five-star weak foot again. The reason why I do the left stick there is because I'm trying to time the animation against the goalkeeper, you know? I'm just going to go for it here. Yeah, see, I'm telling you, that law pass, when your attacker has the advantage, just go for the header, bro. Oh, no timing on that, eh? No timing. It was like the outside of the post and then out that near post angle. Put that in the air, though. Oh, that was a white there. Oh, man, the, an the, the animation there again, you know? The animation there again. There we go. Extra passes, man. Extra passes. Always got to go for the extras. I don't know what happened there, but we'll take it. Oh, man. I try to work all those like extra left sticks to see if I can just pass that one defender, but I still got to do another shot cancel, man. to say by Chesney. No. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Richarlison card. So guys, in regards to how this card performs in game, just like most of the cards that are physical oriented, you got to give them the engine chemistry style. Now from the selections here, right? With the Wag Horse card, I'm going to be honest. I enjoyed using the Wag Horse card more than this card just because it's not even necessarily, oh, this card is better than this card. It's just because that Weg Horse card kind of brings this new play style and he feels unique because of how strong he is. Big guy, blah, 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 right? So if I'm going to compare the two in regards to which one I enjoyed using the most, I would go with the Weg Horse card, right? Especially with someone next to him that has the right attacking AI. With this Richarlison, and I feel like they did this on purpose, obviously, because it's a showdown card. He needs the upgrades, right? And the reason why he needs the upgrades is because the way that the card is currently formatted, you have to give him an engine. You have to. I'm sorry, guys. I know I'm in the engine chemistry style, guys. But listen, on the finisher chemistry style, yes, you can improve the agility, the balance, the dribbling a little bit. But then you would have to work with base card stats for pace a little bit more. Don't get me wrong. This chemistry style for this card wouldn't be terrible to work with. But... I really feel like with the improvement on the card and you being able to boost that balance on him as much as possible, I feel like that's going to be super ideal. But then again, you know, depending on how they improve him, if they actually come out on top on the finisher chemistry style, if they boost the base card stats for pace, that would be great as well. So it just depends on how they 
improve the card, but it's something that, in my opinion, when I'm looking at him, it feels like you need to bank on that improvement. It's one of those types of cards, in my opinion, for sure. Because on the engine chemistry style, I feel like the shooting works well, but you still got to work high percentage strikes as much as possible to score majority of your opportunities, right? Especially since the long shots is at a 78, so you kind of have to work those inside the 18-yard box opportunities really well. Now, obviously, when he takes the strikes, he hits them pretty well, especially if you green them. But in FIFA, guys, you got to work that specific angle for there to be a consistency to it, right? So it's just one of those things that on the engine chemistry style, he needs the shooting boost, right? He definitely needs it for base card stats to be improved. That's going to be the main thing on this card. You know, depending on how they improve the dribbling, like I said, if you can give him a finisher, that would be great. But it's a card that needs to get improved. Now, for me personally, I'm not crazy about this Richarlison card from base card stats myself, especially at the uh, price range at the of the card. Not crazy impressed, but obviously if you want to go with some Brazilian uh, Premier League link-ups in your squad to use them in the striker position, maybe can, but he's not that crazy responsive in the cam position. He feels like a physical type dude up top in that striker area, then that's going to be super, super ideal. In regards to the price difference of him and Weghorst, like I just like the Weghorst card more just because he's a different type of card in general. Like he doesn't feel... I know with uh, I know with uh, Richardson he has that five star weak foot right, but this card I mean look at him on an engine with the dribbling set up with the way that his shooting is set up the fact that he's insane in the air because he has the power header trait with the ninety nine heading accuracy right. Richardson is not special in that way for me to want to do the SBC if that makes sense right. But again this is not a comparison between what's better than the other because you guys can clearly see that Richardson in the meta of the game is still going to play well enough if you want to complete the SBC. I'm just personally not crazy about him. You know what I'm saying? Um, especially since you have to bank on the upgrade. Like, that's the that's the main thing here. So, um, yeah. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this review today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.